time. Now, do you remember the Funky Farmer? The Funky Farmer came on the show in October to tell us about his video blog. He gets about 10,000 views on his video blog every single day. He's a dairy farmer. His real name is Richard Cornock, and with his family, he runs a dairy farm in Titherington near Wootton Under Edge. Well, today you will hear from Richard talking about his work, the newborn calves, and we're also going to be taste testing the cow's milk all before noon. First, though, let's hear the cows coming in to be milked. And interestingly, the relief milker who does the extra work. He does it because it reminds him of his childhood. What a... what? Richard, the cows are just coming in now. Those what? three in front, do you know their names? Uh, I could look it up. I don't probably know their numbers. They're coming in. They're coming in for milking now. And do you know what? Should we watch them coming in the yard? I expect that one there. Just go by the door, because. Some of these cows have a pecking order. You wouldn't believe it, would you? They're like, you know, in a classroom where, where people always want to sit in the favourite desk. This is a bit like that in the yard. Some of them want to stand by the door because they want to come in first. Some will go down the bottom of the yard because they won't want, want to come in to the last. 819 won't come in to the very end, and she'll only go in one place in the milking parlour. Is that good, the fact that you know them so well? So if they do something different, you might know something's wrong with them. That, that's very true, actually. Um, certain things, little clues, like they won't eat their um, cattle cake. We call it cake, but it's actually cattle feed. In the milking parlour, they'll, if they're off their cake, then that's a, a good sign that there's something not right, because cattle love cake. Mm-hmm. Um, just little things like um, how they're walking. You know, If they're lifting a foot up or something, then that's a, maybe a time to have a look and see if they're a bit lame or something. So they're coming in for their second milking of the day. They are, yes, yeah. that's right. And uh, Look at them all looking at me. They're looking at us, aren't they? They are, yeah. Is I feel a bit curious. They don't get many friends on the farm. So, uh, you know, the, the saying, oh, nosy cow, is that, is, is that <laughs> that's right? That's very then? true, actually. You, do you know what? That's very true. And certainly if you're, if you're going to a field of cows, normally they're not used to seeing people. They'll quite often they'll come and have a look at you. But, yeah, they're very curious animals, cattle. cattle. They uh, like to know what's going on. So it's they're classic. coming in, bless them, with full udders. Girls, I have experienced that feeling. It's horrible. Go on. So um, you've got a relief milk uh, milker today. He's, uh, I could milk the cows seven days a week, but then I wouldn't see my kids and ha- have much of a life. So we do have um, someone come and help us. There's Dave at the back there just getting the cows round now. Um, he's just bringing them into the yard and then what he's going to do is he's going to go around the back and just clean out the sheds f- um, before he starts milking. You know, you hear him whistling now. And Dave doesn't do this normally. No, Dave, Dave works for the crane company. You might be able to have a word with him in, in a minute. Right. I was just saying, you don't normally do this day to day. You've got another job working on a crane. Yeah, I, um, I'm an AP for a crane company, so I... Uh, I do this just to help Rich out, really. Yeah, and why, why do you choose something like this? Do you like to just get out and do something different? Well, I, I grew up on a farm. My old man used to um, milk cows, and uh, I used to start when I was about seven. Mm. And uh, when he passed away, we uh, obviously got out of farming, so... Yeah. Was that in the county, in Gloucestershire? Yeah, 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 just the other side of Thornbury, in Lower Morton. So the girls are going in to be milked now. Are there any... Uh, do you recognise them? Are there any numbers that you know, hey, oh, this one's going to cause me some trouble? Yeah, there's uh, there's one that opens uh, opens a door on a regular basis and there's another one that lets a feed down for herself. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know... 93, that yeah, is. You know which what number? Are. Number 93, she's a troublemaker. She knows how to let the feed down. And if you, don't, if you turn your back for five minutes, half a tonne of cattle feed's on the floor. <laughs> yeah. And you end up shovelling it all up. So. Oh, she's very clever then, clever. <laughs> I'll let you get on with it. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much. Cheers. What a- If you'd like to have a look at some photographs that I took on the day when I visited the farm in Titherington, you can see them on Facebook right now. It's facebook.com forward slash BBC Gloucestershire. Very wet on the roads. We'll find out exactly how they're looking with Alan after this. On Wednesday, BBC Radio Gloucestershire remembers a great Cotswold conservationist. From time to time on the programme, we featured some of the rare breed farm animals that Joe Henson keeps at his Cotswold Farm Park. And of course the Gloucester was the was the cottager's pig of the Gloucester Vale, where they lived in the orchards and lived on all the rough food and so on. Hello, I'm Angela Rippon, and I'm going to be sharing with you some of my very personal memories of the wonderful Joe and the programme that we worked on together on BBC television called In the Country. Joe Henson, the champion of rare breeds, Wednesday at noon on BBC Radio Gloucestershire.